for some of us, times come a few years down the road when you wake up early in the morning. One of you wakes up before the other. And you roll over and you look at the head resting on the pillow opposite yours. And you say, hopefully to yourself, and not out loud, Oh Lord, what have I done? <laughs> That's where the covenant promises are particularly and this covenant also carries with it a tremendous amount of hope. Everyone gathered here tonight, everyone lined up with you here tonight, has the deepest, highest hopes for the two of you in this marriage life. There's a, a Catholic priest, Father Bill Bausch, who for many years was a priest over a number of different parishes in New York State. And he tells a wonderful story about the hope of a long-lasting covenant. On one occasion, Father Bausch went to see a young man who had become somewhat uh, lackadaisical in his attendance to Mass. And the two of them sat down. The young man happened to be the manager of an apartment complex. And they sat down in this young man's apartment. And the window looked out to the courtyard. And after a few minutes, as the conversation began to stall, the young man noticed an elderly couple walking out the front door of their apartment and he pointed them out to Father Bausch and he said, Father, you see that couple, that older couple out there? Five or six times a week they do this. They walk out of their apartment and they walk two blocks to the neighborhood grocery. They get their groceries and they come back and they always sit down on the same bench and they sit there and they look at one another like they, they haven't seen each other in years and they hold hands and they smile. I just don't get it. How can, they, how can they enjoy one another after all of these years? And Father Bausch actually knew this couple, and he knew their life had not been easy. They had gone through a lot of turmoil and a lot of grief. And as he was about to inform the young man of exactly what they had gone through, the young man smiled, pointed to them again, and he said, I get it. I get it.
I actually take you, Jim, to be my beloved husband. I will love you when we are together. I will love you when we are together. When we are apart. I will love you when life is peaceful. And when it is trouble. I'll grieve with you in times of sorrow. Laugh with you in times of joy. I will honor your goals and dreams and help you to achieve them. I have forsaken all others. Bind myself to you. Jeff, as you take Ashley's rein and place it on her finger, again repeat after me. With this ring, I seal my vows and signify my commitment. With this ring, I seal my vows and signify my commitment. Would you all bow your heads with me in a word of prayer? Our holy and righteous Father, we do believe that you have been witness to the covenant words, the vows that have just been exchanged between Ash Ashley and Jeff. And Father, we ask, just as scripture teaches us, we ask in the name of Jesus that you bless them with the wisdom and the strength, the love that they will need in order to not only just live up to these vows, but to make their marriage one that is truly exemplary. So that years and years from now, people will still be looking at them and saying, they're still in love. Thank you, Father, for both of them. Thank you for the families from which they come. We ask your blessings on them, your best and greatest blessings on these two young people. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel, I pronounce you husband and wife. And you, sir, may kiss your bride. <laughs> hey. hey. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure and privilege to present to you for the very first time, Dr. and Mrs. Brown. Yeah.